As autumn's chill arrives this winter is shaping up to be anything but ordinary. Expect dramatic swings, deep arctic cold, blizzards, and even severe weather outbreaks. The atmosphere is sending strong signals. Volatility will define the season. One week could be mild, the next a polar plunge. Perfect for major storms. This isn't just about weather, it's about safety, dangerous travel, power outages, and the need for emergency supplies. Severe weather could mean ice storms or even tornadoes in unexpected places. Understanding what's coming is the first step to being ready. We'll break down the science, compare to past winters, and highlight the regions at greatest risk. By the end, you'll have the knowledge to face this wild winter with confidence. The key to this winter's unpredictability is the neutral phase of the El Niño Southern Oscillation, or ENSO. This phase is neither El Niño nor La Niña, but rather a middle ground that can lead to a wide range of weather conditions. Neutral years are notorious for wild, extreme weather. This means we could see anything from heavy snowfall and ice storms to unseasonably warm temperatures and rain. Without a strong El Niño or La Niña, the jet stream becomes chaotic, dipping south to pull in Arctic air, then swinging north to bring warmth. This erratic behavior can lead to sudden and severe weather changes. This waviness sets the stage for powerful storms and rapid temperature swings. One day could be mild, and the next could bring a blizzard. The polar vortex is also more likely to wobble, sending frigid air deep into the US. This can result in prolonged periods of extreme cold. This year's patterns suggest a higher risk for prolonged cold snaps and dangerous wind chills. People will need to be prepared for sudden drops in temperature. The combination of a neutral ENSO and unstable polar vortex means no single pattern dominates, just constant atmospheric clashes. This leads to a winter season that is highly unpredictable. That's why forecasters expect dramatic swings and major storms. Emergency services are on high alert, and people are advised to stay informed about weather updates. It's a perfect storm of global factors, making this winter one to watch. From local weather changes to global impacts, this season promises to be one of the most dynamic in recent memory. To understand what's ahead, let's revisit the brutal winter of 2013-2014. That season brought relentless cold and heavy snow, especially to the Midwest and Northeast. The polar vortex became infamous as Arctic air repeatedly plunged south, breaking records. Like now, a quiet hurricane season preceded that winter, often a sign of stormy, cold months ahead. This year, the cold could be even more widespread, with more moisture fueling bigger snow and ice events. We're not expecting an exact repeat, but the parallels are striking. History shows what can happen when these patterns align. The lesson, be prepared for a long, challenging season. This winter, the central and eastern U.S. will be the main battleground. The northern plains Midwest and Ohio Valley face below average temperatures and persistent Arctic air. These regions will also see above normal precipitation. Prime conditions for heavy snow and blizzards. Major cities like Chicago, Detroit, and Buffalo should brace for significant disruptions. Meanwhile, the west coast, southwest, and deep south will likely be warmer and drier, raising drought concerns. The Pacific Northwest is the exception, with early season storms bringing heavy mountain snow and flooding rains. Atmospheric rivers could trigger landslides and river flooding there. Each region faces its own set of winter challenges. Winter usually means snow, but this year's volatile pattern raises the risk of tornadoes. The second severe weather season in late fall and early winter can bring dangerous outbreaks especially in the Ohio and Tennessee valleys. When cold air clashes with Gulf warmth, severe storms and tornadoes can erupt, even in November or December. The 2013 November outbreak is a stark reminder. Dozens of tornadoes struck in a single day. This year's setup could produce similar events. Stay alert. Have a way to receive weather warnings and know your safe place. Don't let the calendar fool you. Tornadoes can strike in winter. Awareness and preparation are key to staying safe. This winter will unfold in dramatic waves, with each region of the country facing its own unique set of challenges as the months progress. Weather patterns will shift rapidly, and the timing of each storm will be crucial for those in its path. 
some areas will be hit early and hard, while others may see a slow buildup before the worst arrives. Understanding what's ahead, month by month, can help you prepare for the unpredictable nature of this season. December brings a powerful start. The Pacific Northwest is expected to face relentless heavy snow in the mountains, while cities like Seattle could see significant urban flooding as rain and melting snow combine. Meanwhile, Colorado lows will sweep across the country, targeting the Midwest with early blockbuster storms that could disrupt travel and daily life. In January, the polar vortex tightens its grip, plunging the northern plains and upper Midwest into periods of brutal, bone-chilling cold. Temperatures could drop well below average, creating dangerous wind chills. At the same time, major winter storms are likely to hammer the Ohio Valley and Great Lakes, bringing heavy snow, blizzard conditions, and travel chaos. As winter deepens, the Northeast ramps up for action. This year, more nor'easters than usual are expected, each one threatening the region with intense snow, howling winds, and the risk of coastal flooding in cities like New York and Boston. These storms can paralyze transportation and leave communities digging out for days. Along the southern edge of the cold air, a messy and hazardous mix is likely. From Texas to the Tennessee Valley, residents should brace for snow, sleet, and freezing rain. These wintry mixes can make roads treacherous and increase the risk of accidents and power outages. Ice storms are a major concern for these southern areas. Even a thin layer of ice can bring down trees and power lines, causing widespread outages and dangerous conditions for days. Each month will bring its own set of challenges. Blizzards with whiteout conditions, sudden flooding from rapid snowmelt, and dangerous ice accumulation on homes and vehicles. The hazards will shift, but the risks remain high. The key to getting through this winter is to stay flexible and ready for changing threats. Prepare your home, stock up on essentials, and have a plan for power outages or travel disruptions. Families and communities that plan ahead will weather the storms more safely. This winter story will be written one storm at a time, with each chapter bringing new tests of resilience. Stay alert, stay prepared, and remember, the weather can change in an instant. Snowfall varies dramatically across the United States with each region experiencing its own unique winter story. Understanding your area's typical snowfall can help you prepare for what's ahead and put this year's forecast into perspective. Whether you're in a sunny southern city or a snow-buried mountain town, knowing the norm is key to gauging the impact of any storm. In places like South Florida, southern Texas, and parts of Southern California, snow is so rare that even a light dusting makes headlines. For residents here, winter usually means mild temperatures and maybe a chilly breeze, but snow is almost unheard of. In the deep south and the desert southwest, snowfall is still uncommon, but not impossible. These areas typically see anywhere from a trace to three inches in a season. Even a single inch can close schools, snarl traffic, and create a sense of excitement or panic among locals unaccustomed to winter weather. Moving north to the Tennessee Valley and the southern mid-Atlantic, three to six inches of snow is more typical. While residents here are a bit more prepared, this amount can still disrupt daily life, close roads, and require some shoveling. In the Midwest, Great Lakes, and interior Northeast, snow is a regular part of winter. These regions often see one to three feet or more each season. Snow plows, salt trucks, and snow blowers are common sights, and communities are well equipped to handle frequent storms. Though some years, totals can soar far above average. The Rockies, Sierra Nevada, Cascades, and lake effect zones are in a league of their own. Here, annual snowfall can range from 48 to 72 inches, and in some spots, even more. For people living in these areas, deep snow is a way of life, shaping everything from daily routines to local culture. The highest peaks and the most intense lake effect snow belts can see over 72 inches of snow each year. In these places, digging out after a storm is a daily reality, and winter can last well into spring. This winter, many regions may experience snowfall totals that exceed their usual range, with some areas facing record-breaking storms and others seeing unusual patterns. 
by knowing your region's baseline, you'll be better equipped to recognize when a storm is truly historic and to prepare for whatever winter brings your way. Preparation is your best defense against winter's worst. Build a home emergency kit, food, water, radio, flashlights, batteries, medications, and pet supplies. Stay indoors during blizzards. Blowing snow and high winds can be deadly. Ice storms make roads and sidewalks treacherous. Avoid travel if possible. Never use stoves or grills for heat. Carbon monoxide is a silent killer. Prepare your car, blankets, shovel, snacks, water, and keep the gas tank half full. If stranded, stay in your car and run the engine periodically. Clear the exhaust pipe. Have a tornado plan. Know your safe place and practice your emergency routine. Stay informed with reliable forecasts and a weather radio. Being prepared turns a crisis into a manageable challenge. This winter promises high drama and real challenges, but it's also a chance to prepare and support each other. Knowledge and planning are your best tools. Build a kit, winterize your home and car, and have a family plan. Check on neighbors, especially those who may need extra help. Simple acts, sharing supplies, shoveling, or a check-in call can make a big difference. Community spirit helps us weather any storm. As the season unfolds, let's face it with readiness and resolve. The storms will come, but we'll be prepared and informed. Together, we can turn a tough winter into a story of resilience. Let's meet the challenge with confidence and care for one another.